Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. And as always, I'm with Bob. And I'm with Keith. And they knew that. And we're best friends. <laughs> I don't care what he says. Yeah. No. But anyway, you know what we're talking about today? Um, but I know something you don't know. I do. Okay. And that's well, how to say gerbil in French. How do you say it? You don't know. Some people say garble. No, that would be garble. What would how that does be? It garble. French? That would I don't know. La gerbil? La ger no, gerbel. 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 Yeah. Actually, I no? think the correct way to say it is gerbil. Gerbil. And the reason I say that is because gerbil is like a little animal. How do you animal? spell gerbil? That would be G-E-R-B-I-L. Well, the way he spells it is G-R-B-L. Okay, so. But there's a new version, and actually it didn't go, concepts, go very far. It no was vowels. G-N-E-A. That doesn't and, sound and gerbil at all. Guinea. Guinea. Because guinea's a bigger guinea Rodent. pig. Rodent. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's actually gerbil. But, okay. you know, that's not the important part. Well, good. Well, maybe yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. No, so, it is not. It is not. No. Okay, good. So Come. we're going to call well, it gerbil. We're talking, yes. And, and what that's is important it? why. It's, it's computer language. Yeah, it is. It's actually written it's a simple, in C. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Written in C. And it's compiled on a microcontroller. Yes. And so, you've all seen these. Yeah. So the actually, uh, the microcontroller, here you can have this part. We'll split this is the actual microcontroller. That's the shield that uh, turns it into stepper motors and stuff. But uh, what does gerbil do for us? <laughs> okay, I thought you knew stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess I'm on my own here. Yeah. So, so gerbil is the uh, firmware Got a that's pillow? on the. <laughs> gerbil is the firmware that's on the microcontroller, and gerbil actually is CNC router uh, firmware. So what it does is it takes a G-code file that you send through a serial port on yes. the USB, and it converts it to the machine movements. So it tells the stepper motor how far to move, how fast, and all those type of things. Correct. So there's different parameters in the firmware setting. And if you first load up, whether it's a basic sender or another sender that you're using, normally when you first connect, it will give you a long list of what we call dollar sign values. Yes. If it says I've seen those. dollar signs equal, it's a firmware value, and it's different and depending on your machine. What do those firmware values do? Why are they important? Well, there's some that control resolution. There's some that control maximum speed, maximum acceleration, and Max maximum speed. speed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not light speed. Although right. I guess you could make a CNC oh, that would go like that'd be that. awesome. Be pretty cool. We should use it on once. It, yeah. <laughs> it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I can't find my. But so, the important thing is, is if if they're right, your machine will work. If and, they're wrong, it could cause some issues. But they're right coming out of the factory. We'd like to think so. Well, actually, they ought to be engineering yeah. set yeah. them. Well, okay, that I guess <laughs> yeah, that got me there. Yeah. So yeah, Ashley programs our controller, so they're right. But uh, if you have like UGS and you're playing with the uh, setup wizard, you can actually change them. And not change what? The firmware settings. Yes. So you could change the resolution, the direction of the axis. But you don't want to do that. Or not. Yeah. So you don't. But so, you would do that. Well, we yeah, we do have <laughs> customers that do that too. And, right, but they're not and, evil. And some other people have done it. That I have not, never, never messed up the admit, firmware no, settings. <laughs> but uh, if, you, if you do mess it up, uh, you can always reset it by changing the firmware back to default. Yes. Um, in uh, Basic Sender, you can just go to the setup and status and reset. Click. Or you can actually do the command, which is dollar sign RST equals dollar sign. It will reset it. So um, that's that's the firmware. Now this one, when you're running it, let's say that everything's right and you're running it, yeah, it will give you errors and alarms based on uh, what you're doing. Uh, if I had to say there was kind of a basic difference between alarms and errors, I would say alarms are something that you're setting up wrong, and errors are something that's just wrong with like the G code file or something that's going on. So for instance, alarm one says that you've hit a hard limit. Yes. Right? You shouldn't hit a hard limit. No, because we don't use hard limits. It Correct. should be turned off. So why do we have hard limits? Well, because the gerbil firmware is written for a whole bunch of machines. So we okay. turn we turn that off. But if you were to have uh, limit switches, you could turn that on. Alarm 2 is a little bit trickier, right? It means that you're trying to cut outside the cutting area. So 
if the microcontroller believes, and it's pretty smart because when you home it, it knows how big your machine is. If it see, thinks that you're cutting outside of the, the, the cutting limit, yes. it will stop your machine and say, hey, I can't go there. You're cutting Why outside limits. Why would that think that? Well, because you're cutting outside of the cutting limits. You've commanded the machine to go somewhere where it can't I go. I wouldn't do that. You've done that. <laughs> you're probably doing it today. No. So, I'm you know, just, no, yeah. I'm just doing photography today. Okay, all right. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're all safe. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, if you get an alarm too, and it can be frustrating, um, it's because you're telling the machine to get out of the cutting area. And if you, you were paying attention earlier, firmware values, dollar sign, dollar sign 20 actually is turning on and off soft limits. So you can turn them off, but then what's going to happen is it's going to go exactly where you commanded it to, and it's going to hit a wall, you know, it's going to hit one of the ends of travel right. and grind. So you're not going to be successful. So a lot of people turn them off because they're frustrating. We would recommend you leave them on right? because uh, it's going to tell you when something's wrong. So there's a, there's a list of, uh, of, of firmware values, firmware values in, and also alarms and errors. And each of them have a description. Uh, we can put a link below in this video. To yes, actually we're show going you to those. do that. We have a yeah. nice document. Yeah, the, we've got it right. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to assign it to yeah. someone. Okay. I'm in management. I don't do things. <laughs> You're in something that you don't do things. But anyway, it must be nice. It is. Yeah. You just sit back and drink a lot? or Yeah. Okay. Okay. Skull. You even drink while you're working. Yeah. Skull. Okay. okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that helps with the firmware. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, email the help desk. Also, if, if you're just wanting to play with the firmware, all of our firmware is, is out there yes. on our GitHub. Every modification that we've made to all of our machines, and you can download it and give it a shot, try to change it, make it better. Well, I would, meaning you, I mean people that know I'm how to I'm gonna go have some fun. I, 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 well, you can do it on your machine. No, I'm gonna, I'll find some way. I'll make sure that Ashley gets what I do. You don't. You don't have permission to change any code on the page, so I feel safe. But anyway, if you would like to any I more, work here even. and neither do you. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. If you have any questions about uh, real firmware real values, questions. Yeah. yeah, alarms, alarms, errors. errors, yeah, yeah, or just any gerbil questions, it's it's pretty cool software. Um, it the, is. The Sunny wrote for us. Or so anyway, it's, you can get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcnc.com. So till next time. Bye, guys. I got to go find something not to do. See ya. <laughs>